Okay, here is another interesting article from JAMA Psychiatry. It was published in May 2015 by Donovan et al. from University of Michigan, between others, an American study. And what they studied was a very interesting concept called number needed to harm. They checked out if uh, doctors give antipsychotics to dementia patients how many they need to give antipsychotics to to kill one extra patient within 180 days this seems almost grotesque but it's a number that is is uh, possible to calculate number needed to harm and it's not much uh, number needed to harm if the patient got haloperidol was 26. That means the doctor has to give haloperidol to only 26 patients to kill one additional patient. And the general analysis was that it is even more dangerous than we thought to give antipsychotics of any kind to demented patients. That it actually kills them. Uh, it's uh, another measure is number needed to treat to get a good effect but this is very problematic with these kind of medications what is it that we are treating is it that they scream or are agitated and then finally we get them to settle down okay number needed to treat is lower than number needed to harm but in a way the the question is what are we treating and what kind of results are we looking for and it actually doubles the risk of death with many of these medications. And where they doubles as likely to die within 100, 180 days only if they take the antipsychotics. So the authors are actually warning against using antipsychotics more strongly than the FDA has warned. And especially this measure of number needed to harm, number needed to kill, they could have called it, because the harm they're talking about is death. And you only have to give it to 26 patients to cause one additional death within 180 days. Um, with these kind of questions, you might wonder, okay, are they supposed to be put to trial, these doctors who kill one extra patient by giving 26 patients this medication. It sounds reasonable if they read the research. They should be aware that if they give it to more than 26 people, they have probably most likely killed one person that wouldn't have died otherwise.